टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू समराइज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया फॉर डिफरेंट बॉडीज स्टार्टिंग विथ द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ अ रॉड एलॉन्ग द एक्सिस पर पेंडिकुलर टू द सेंटर एंड पासिंग थ्रू इट दैट इज कॉल्ड सेंट्रोइडियल एक्सिस द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया कम्स आउट टू बी इक्वल टू वन अपॉन ट्वेल्व एम एल स्क्वायर अगेन द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ अ रिंग अबाउट द सेंट्रोइडियल एक्सिस द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इज एम आर स्क्वायर वेर आर इज द रेडियस ऑफ द रिंग टेकिंग अ डिस्क द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अलॉन्ग सेंट्रोइडियल एक्सिस विल बी हाफ एम आर स्क्वायर टेकिंग अ हॉलो स्पियर द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अलॉन्ग द सेंट्रोइडियल एक्सिस विल बी टू अपॉन थ्री एम आर स्क्वायर फॉर अ सॉलिड स्पियर द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया विल बी टू अपॉन फाइव एम आर स्क्वायर नाउ लास्ट इन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट perhaps the radius of gyration firstly we will have to understand what is radius of gyration in order to understand the concept of radius of gyration let's again take a rigid body of any irregular shape let this be the axis of the rigid body along the center called the centroidal axis denoted by i let the mass of the rigid body be m and let's the different component of rigid body be placed at different points along the axis let their mass be m1 m2 m3 m4 and having the distance r1 r2 r3 r4 rn respectively from the axis let us consider that the center of mass of this rigid body be at this point p and its distance from the axis of rotation be k we define the radius of gyration as the perpendicular distance of the center of mass of the rigid body from the axis of rotation the moment of inertia i can be written as m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square plus m3 r3 square going on to mn rn square for the time being if the masses of all the constituent particle is taken to be equal the moment of inertia i can be written as m is taken to be common and it is the sum of the square of the distances from the different masses from the axis of rotation considering the whole mass to be concentrated at the center of mass the moment of inertia of this given rigid body along this given axis with respect of center of mass can be written as mk square and this will be equal to the calculated moment of inertia since we have considered n particles having equal masses m thus the total mass of the particle m will be equal to n times of a small m so from above we can write n times of a small m into k square so k square can be written to be equal to and thus the radius of gyration can be calculated as the square root of the square of distances of different particles or mean square of distance of different particles from the axis of rotation we can also calculate the radius of gyration of uniform mass distribution for example we can say since the moment of inertia of a rod along centroidal axis is 1 upon 12 ml square we have to calculate the radius of gyration we can see i can be taken as mk square which will be equal to 1 upon 12 ml square so k square will be equal to l square upon 12 k will be equal to for a ring so mk square or k can be written as equal to r